one of the new features in Photoshop CS5 is pushing 3D a little bit further where you can take your type or you can take a different shape and you can push it out in a three-dimensional surface. We can kind of give it some real dimension, make it look more photorealistic. This tool is called Repose, and it actually comes from the French word to push out. So let's grab the type tool here. We're just going to add some type. Let's get a different color. I'm not a really big fan of that color. Let's just grab something, I don't know, a grayish color here, grayish blue. Oops, went more blue, doesn't really matter. So let's do this. We'll just type in test 3D, and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's just increase the size of that, and we're just going to drag it into the middle. Now, what we want to do is open up the 3D panel, and then we've got these options to create new 3D objects. There's a bunch of them here, the postcards, presets, but we're going to do a repose. We're going to click Create. And we're just going to wait a second here while it converts it. And the dialog box is going to come up here. All right, here we go. So now notice that we've been able to extrude that. We can actually change the shapes of the bevels here just by simply clicking on these different types of bevels. Let's select one here. See that? We can get these cool effects. We can change the depth of these just by dragging around. We can make them more you know, deeper, obviously, or, or shallower. And right now, I'm just kind of working on iMac, so I don't have the most powerful machine here right now. But we can change the shapes of the contours. We can do all kinds of different things. And we can also go here and rotate it in 3D space. So this is a lot of fun. Uh, the other things we can do, too, is we've got materials here. We can change these materials to preset materials. So let's say grab this one here with the bricks. And you can see we can start to apply those different types of textures. So I'm just going to click OK just to apply it for now. And we can also create our own textures, which is actually a lot of fun. And what we can do, too, is once we've got it here, it's still a 3D object. So we can still take this. We can manipulate it. We can move it in 3D space. We can add shadows. We can add lights. Uh, there's a lot of different things we can do. And you know, later on, I'm actually going to cover a lot more stuff in 3D. This is just going to whet your appetite a little bit just to show you what can be done now inside of Photoshop CS5 Extended.